What's up guys? Nitro here. Got a quick little blender tip for you guys today. If you haven't been using it, you definitely need to be using this. I know a lot of newer people might not know about it, so here. What you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to go to your armature. And say you've got your ears in a position that you like from pose mode. All you have to do, if you want to keep this, is clear the shape keys. Make sure there's nothing there. Or if you want to leave the shape keys on it, make sure there's nothing active whatsoever. Go in, click on it, click the wrench. Go to the armature modifier, click down right here, click save as shape key, and you'll do that to make sure it moves. Go back to your rig, go to your pose mode, hit A or grab the bunch you want. Alt R for rotation reset, Alt S for scale reset, Alt G for movement reset. Make sure everything is completely reset. Go here, grab it, bingo. Now your ears are like that, all you gotta do is move the bones back down. But the main use for this is for creating faces. So if you were to just, you know, take a face and grab in pose mode, do this or whatever, just something funny. You could go and apply just straight the mesh. Just go here and apply this as a shape key. As long as nothing else is active, because it's going to mix all the shape keys together. As long as you do that, you won't have to worry about it. And it'll be able to do all your animations and shape keys and things of that sort. Makes it three times easier to do anything dealing with faces, dealing with any movement, or even simple things like messing with a body, doing things fatter, you know, things like this. Even small stuff, just to make cool shape keys. So hopefully this helped you guys out and you come up with some cool stuff to do with it. Do remember that shape keys, whenever they're moved, the bones do not move with it. So if you do put it in a position, make sure you move the bones into position if it's going to be permanent. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you in the next one.